It's time now for a look latest in local news. In the news, it's election year 2022, and a reminder that early voting begins this coming Monday, May 2nd, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Hall Richardson Recreation Center. Early voting will run up until May 20th, with the primary election day Tuesday, May 24th. Early voting will take place here in Wayne County at the Hall Richardson Recreation Center, which is located at 644 North 4th Street. Two Saturdays of early voting, both May 7th and May 14th. The Saturday times of early voting will be from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. We here at WFOFM continue to talk with local and statewide candidates today in studio. Candidate for County Commissioner on the Butch and Bob Show in District 1, Stephen Jones. He's in a three-candidate race for District 1, along with Mike Gordon and Brian Griffiths, who we had in studio yesterday. District 3 has four candidates, Larry Brantley, Tim Hopkins, Corbett Nichols, and Morris Melvin. All four, again, running on the Republican ballot. District 4, the race will be decided in November, as incumbent James Booth Thomas, the lone Democratic candidate on the ballot in the primary in District 4. For Fred Anderson, the lone Republican in the on the ballot in District 4, both will win their primaries on May 24th, and that again that race will be decided in November. District 2 incumbent on the council, Kevin McCurry is unopposed. District 5, the rematch between incumbent Kathy Keith and Jamie Hickox. On the school board, two contested races, District 2 incumbent Bruce Harris squaring off against Kelvin Mock, and District 5 incumbent Nick Ellis squaring off against Tina Mosley, District 1 member Joe McPipkin, District 4 member Sharon Daniel unopposed, District 3 candidate Todd Wise unopposed. On Monday, we'll talk with incumbent Secretary of State Brad Raffensberger by phone. Last night, the second of three debates between Governor Brian Kemp and David Perdue took place on WTOC down in Savannah, and both are seeking the Republican nomination for governor with the winner squaring off against Democratic candidate Stacey Abrams, the lone Democratic candidate for governor. At the debate televised by WTOC last night, Governor Brian Kemp looked at his rival, David Perdue, and stated that David wants to go back and talk about the past because he doesn't want to talk about the future. Kemp's goal is to win the primary without a runoff. The polls say he has a legitimate chance to do just that on May 24th. Perdue hoping that former President Donald Trump's endorsement can help him win the Republican nomination. Former President has labeled Governor Kemp public enemy number one, still claiming the 2020 election was stolen. Governor Kemp stated last night, Lord have mercy, there's a lot of spaghetti being thrown against the wall, but nothing sticks. The two have a third debate this weekend in Atlanta. The Atlanta Press Club will conduct that debate. That will be televised this weekend by Georgia Public TV again May 2nd. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. A lot of events taking place this weekend. The Odom Homecoming presenting Spring Outdoor Movie Night tonight at the Odom Train Depot. That gets underway at 8 p.m. this evening, and it's free to the public. They should bring you a lawn chair and blanket and golf cart. Concessions will be available for sale at the townhouse. The movie is Hop. Again, that spring outdoor movie night tonight, 8 o'clock at the Odom Train Depot. Wayne County Fair, a couple more nights tonight and Saturday. Again, the time tonight and Saturday from 6 to 11. Admission $10 per person. Includes all the rides. Again, they're taking place at the J.C. Fairgrounds this Friday and Saturday. Public invited Sunday to come meet the new band directors at Wayne County High School. Husband and wife coming from Perry, Georgia, lead the band. Mr. Andy Hersey and his wife, Chrissy Hersey, will be the high school commons area for a meet and greet with the parents and students from 2 to 3 p.m., then refreshments and a chance to meet the Herseys all this Sunday from 2 to 4 at the high school commons area. Again, the public is invited to attend. Also this Sunday at Calvary Baptist Church, reception in honor of Brother Van Dench and his wife, Rhonda, at 4 to 6 at Calvary Baptist Church's Fellowship Hall. Brother Van retiring from Calvary after 25 years as the church's pastor. Last Sunday was his last sermon. This Sunday reception in his honor, the time again from 4 to 6, public invited to attend. Reminder, tomorrow is Amnesty Day here in Wayne County. The city of Scriven in partnership with County Commissioner Kevin McCrary hosting the Amnesty Day tomorrow between 8 a.m. and 12 noon. And the two drop-off sites are Grace Community Center inside the city of Scriven and the location right beside the Wayne County Farmer's Market. Again, if you are unable to bring items to the drop-off locations, call Scriven City Hall at 579-2211. Have any questions about any item that you can bring, call Scriven City Hall at 579-2211. And they'll have the trash trailers and roll-offs at both locations this Saturday. And that's tomorrow between 8 a.m. and 12 noon. Again, if you have any questions about the Amnesty Day, ask your call Scriven City Hall at 579-2211. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages. So please stay tuned.
Final notes and news beginning Monday and be and running for a period of 90 days. They want to remind everybody that Dixie Road over Boggy Creek Road is going to be closed. There'll be a detour right at that location. Southeastern site development doing work in the area. They want to let residents know that once again, beginning Monday, Dixie Road over Boggy Creek Road will be closed for approximately 90 days. The county commissioner is set to meet Monday, May 2nd at 6 p.m. on their agenda. Consider approval Wayne County safety meeting policy. Consider approve acceptance of Druid Hills Road and consider approve amending the fiscal year 2022 general budget for fire prevention grant. Items with the administrator, items with the commissioners, all that stuff for Monday at 6 p.m. in courtroom C. Also beginning the week of May 1st to the 7th, it's Hurricane Preparedness Week. The Georgia Emergency Management Agency and Homeland Security Agency are promoting National Hurricane Preparedness Week from May 1st to 7th. Wayne County Emergency Management Agency says they're encouraging Wayne County citizens to be proactive in preparing for the upcoming season so that in the event of a storm, the citizens will know how to proceed. Sunday, May 1st, is determine your risk. Hurricanes bring many hazards, including storm surge along the coast, inland flooding, tornadoes, strong wind, rip currents, and large waves. Find out today what types of wind and water hazards could occur where you live and then start preparing for how to handle them. Then on Monday, May 2nd, is develop an evacuation plan. Find out if you live in a hurricane evacuation zone. If you do begin planning where you would go, how you would get there, and become familiar with Georgia Navigator, so when the time comes, you'll know the way to go. And Hurricane Preparedness Week, all next week, May 1st through the 7th. That's going to do it for latest in local news. Sports coming your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, have a great day.